Hello, my besties! Are you ready for the trick or treaters this year? I want to share with you this adorable candy ball that I created for just a few dollars. And I upgraded the witch's hat too. Let me show you how I did that. Remember this adorable witch's hat that I created out of the Dollar Tree form? Well, I just got these cute leg stakes from my sister and they match so perfectly. I have to go back and add them. It reminds me actually uh, that day when I made that wreath for you guys, I was uh, taking pictures and my legs reflected in the door. And I was thinking to myself, how funny would it be if that hat came with the legs? And look at that now. In addition, my sister got me this broom. I think it's going to be perfect. The broom comes from Christmas Tree Shop. Uh, but if you cannot get it, you can make one using these glitter branches from Dollar Tree. I think it's not hard to do at all. I can't get over those cute legs. And I just love that they made a left and a right one. <laughs> How perfect. So we're going to attach them to the uh, two rails that run at the bottom of the hat right there. And we're going to use some pipe cleaners. I do two pipe cleaners per each leg, just like so. That way uh, the pipe cleaners don't move around. And then just add your legs and tie them tightly. When done, flip it over and just see how it looks. Make sure the stockings are showing nicely. <laughs> so adorable. Uh, and uh, I actually go back second time and close it even tighter. Um, next, I decide to add that broom at the bottom at an angle, something like this. Hold this pad and attach it nicely with two additional pipe cleaners. Perfect! I love it! <laughs> One of you suggested to add a bow at the tip of a hat and I thought why not? <laughs> I have some of this purple ribbon from Dollar Tree. So I cut three short pieces and one longer piece. Then I cut the ends at an angle. And I pinch each piece of ribbon in the middle and hold it and add another one, pinch and hold it and so on. And then tie it together with a piece of floral wire. And just like that, we have a cute little bow. I don't want it to be too small for the size of the hat. So I decide to also attach another piece of ribbon, a little bigger and some uh, leftover deco mesh that I have. I pull it in both directions and roll it just the same way that I did each bundle for the rim of the hat. You pull the ends in opposite direction, roll it towards the middle and pinch. I had left over two pieces, so how perfect. I'm just going to use it all here. That's why I don't throw out leftovers, guys, because you can always use uh, things for something. 
so we tie everything with that wire that was already in the back of the little bow. And I think it creates a cute, funky little bow for the tip of the hat. And there you go. You just attach it with the wire from the back and this is how it looks. Do you like it better now? Uh, please comment down below and let me know. And here is those adorable legs. Oh my goodness. I think they really took that reef a hat to another level. I love it so much and oh this is such a big piece guys i told you it takes almost my whole door but now with the legs it really does it's such a huge statement piece i love it so much and uh, let me know in comments down below did any of you attempt to make this hat already and how did it come out how do you like it and i think the broom is perfect here as well and look at those two cuties. Give me a thumbs up if you like to see them in my video. <laughs> and now let's make the witch's cauldron. We get the bucket from Dollar Tree and uh, a set of those fabric legs. I have here some leftover green deco mesh, ribbons from Dollar Tree and uh, tubes from the paper towels. Remember the second witch's wreath that I made? I did the same thing. I cut off the legs and insert the paper towel tubes to make the legs stiff. <laughs> All right, so in order to attach the legs inside the pad, we're going to cut small slits on the paper towel rolls, bend them up and create like small tabs. See what I mean? I don't want the legs uh, glued straight up. I want them tilted to left and right. So I'm gonna use an iced tea cup to help me <laughs> raise them. Do you see what I mean? Something like that. So first I glue that cup inside the pad. And then I glue in the legs the way I showed you at an angle. Perfect, this is exactly what I wanted. Then you fill the bottom with some tissue paper. And simply add in your candy. And now we can decorate the pad as we wish. Uh, if you wanna attach a bow, here's a very simple instructions. Cut two pieces of ribbon, about 24 inches long. Next measure five inches loop, pinch it and hold it. And same with the second one, five inches pinch and hold, grab a floral wire and tie it together. And now quickly fluff the loops and all four ends and the beautiful bow will appear. Before we attach the bow, let's attach some deco mesh to the rim of the pad. I'm thinking to create like a woozing <laughs> witch's brew um, illusion. <laughs> uh, I have um, cut my pipe cleaners in half, so I have small uh, pieces that I could use to attach uh, the deco mesh. Uh, I'm going to attach it to a handle.
try to make them look like bubbles more or less. And then I do exact same thing on the other side. I'm just attaching with the pipe cleaner to the small holes that are there on both sides. I also have some LED lights I got at a Dollar Tree. I decide to add those too. I stick the battery pack somewhere on the side with the switch up so I could easily reach it. And then I attach the lights around the rim with some pipe cleaners. And how cute! <laughs> I think lights add a lot, don't they? So it bothers me that the witch's shoes are flapping, so I'm gonna use the popsicle sticks and some hot glue to keep them up straight. And when dry, I cut off the excess. And then I cover the sticks with some ribbon. And now we can attach our bow on the side. Feel free to embellish it some more with anything you might have. I have an extra spider left over, so I'm going to put it right here. Some cockroaches are always nice too. <laughs> and I have some glow-in-the-dark spiders here. I'm gonna just add them in because kids love this stuff, you know? They could grab some candy and a couple spiders as well. <laughs> and this is it, guys. We are done. Here is our Witch's Cauldron candy ball. I hope you like it. I am pretty sure that it will bring some delight to our tree court readers. Please let me know if you give away the candy. Uh, do a lot of kids visit your house? We don't get that many, but I'm always prepared. I really like how this ball came out and I encourage you to make one as well. It was so inexpensive, under $5. You cannot get a candy ball. Um, that looks that cute anywhere for that money. So definitely worth making your own. This is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.